You can't go in there, but... What is going on? Oh. Mother, are you all right? Oh, I I'm fine, Ethan. Ivy's wheelchair broke down, so uh, she couldn't make it home alone, so I'm dropping her off. Thank God your father was there. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Uh, uh, let's get her on the couch. Yeah. There's, a, there's another wheelchair in the garage. I'll, I'll go get it. I'll give you a hand. Are you comfortable, Ivy? Is there anything I can get you? Ah, uh, no, I'm, well, actually, something cold to drink. Okay, I'll get you some ice water. Oh, do you have any idea what you've done? Don't you dare begrudge me my night with Sam. I wouldn't. But this was also Gwen's night with Ethan. Your son was just about to propose when you came in and ruined everything. Great timing, Ivy. We were just about to get rid of Miss Taco Bell for good. Now we're right back where we started. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, I want Ethan to marry Gwen as much as you do. Well, sometimes I wonder. How could you? Ethan's happiness means everything to me. Well, it seems to me your first priority is trying to get Sam back. Well, I won't deny that I want Sam, but... Oh, Ivy, please. You look like you died and went to heaven when he came in here carrying you in his arms tonight. How long did you have to practice that little damsel in distress routine? Who said I had to practice? Oh, Ivy, please. You're talking to me here. So, just how did you sabotage your wheelchair, hmm? What part of it did you break ever so conveniently so you could use your wiles to try to get Sam back? Oh, don't try to deny it. I know you far too well. <laughs> <laughs>